Hey guys, so I just filmed a tutorial for this eyeshadow look. Um, it will probably be up in a couple days, um, but it is using the Too Faced Boudoir palette. Oop, whoops. <laughs> but I did want to go ahead and do a review on it. Um, I've used it a couple of times, and uh, so far I seriously really, really like it. It was, It's not very expensive. I'm not, it's like 30 maybe a little bit over $30. Um, and you get one, two, three, four, you get nine eyeshadows, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about each one and then kind of go into uh, what I think, what my opinions are. Um, yeah, so the first thing that they have is they kind of have three different looks that you can go off of. They have the fashion, the classic, and the day look. So if you see that, then each one kind of has colors that complement it. Now you don't have to go off of these colors, obviously. You can mix and match for whatever you want, um, but it is nice that you kind of have that option and have those colors that already complement each other and you know kind of what's going to look good and you kind of like don't have to think about pairing colors together, especially if you know you are going for a more... Um, just light kind of eyeshadow look if you're just going out you know during the day and don't really want something really dramatic um, but yeah so obviously you can mix and match and uh, the cool thing about Too Faced uh, eyeshadow palettes is they always have um, eye looks for you too so they have like t little tutorials kind of and uh, they show you which colors um, to put where and yeah I also I um, haven't tried any of them, but I think that is cool, especially if you're not that experienced with makeup. I feel like that's really awesome um, that it kind of tells you what to do. You know, it's step by step. You don't really have to think about it, and it just is really nice and easy. Okay, so the first color in the palette is called In the Buff, and it is just a nice highlighter color, and it's very, very creamy. Um, and it's very, very pigmented, if you can see that on my hand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. Um, so that is what that color looks like. It is very, very pigmented. So um, it's kind of a chalky kind of cream color, uh, which I think would be awesome for a highlight. Uh, you could probably even use this like on your, on your cheekbones to um, highlight as well, not just on your eyes. Um, the one thing I have noticed about this palette is, uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain or like what the right word for this is, but it's very, um, like when you use it, it's very, like it falls out a lot. Um, like it gets very messy, if that makes sense. Okay, and then the next color, I'll go through these three uh, big ones first, and then I'll kind of go around to the rest. The next one is Satin Sheets, and it is a shimmery pink color, and it has like gold glitters in it. So, that is what that one looks like. And it is gorgeous. These are all extremely pigmented. And this one kind of comes out more, um, it, the pink kind of wears away a little bit. And it's more of like, you can see the gold in the light, if that makes sense. Like, it's kind of like a ref reflex color. So, that is what that one looks like. The next one is called Birthday Suit, and this is a nice kind of like taupey champagne color. It's very nice for all over the lid. That is what that one looks like. Go ahead and swatch that one. I'm trying to swatch them pretty dark so you can see what they look like. So there is that color. You can see. Okay, so those are the three big colors, and um, I will go into the I will go into the other ones. I do just want to say that these names are hilarious. Uh, fuzzy handcuffs, lap dance, French tickler, uh, uh, satin sheets. They're all just funny. I want to know who has this job of making up these names and I want this job I feel like how much fun would that be to sit around and come up with fun names for for makeup products I mean sign me up for that job okay so the next one that I'm going to show you is fuzzy handcuffs and this is a nice it's not quite matte it has a I feel like it has a little bit of a satin finish 
Um, but it is like a nice, like just light kind of brown beige color. I'm not very good at explaining colors, so kind of bear with me on this. So that is that is what that one looks like. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this next one. Valles Vu? I'm just going to show you the name because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it and I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Okay, so it's like a kind of deep purple brown and that is what it looks like. Super, super pigmented and that is what that one looks like. It does look more brown than purple but it kind of has like a hint of plum in it if that makes sense. So if you see like the sun is kind of going uh, behind clouds so my the light probably is kind of changing a little bit. Okay so after that we have Sugar Walls which is a really pretty um, just kind of shimmery uh, it's a really pretty kind of shimmery taupe color. And that is what that one looks like. And then on swatched on my arm, it looks like that. Really, really pretty. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites. And it seems so simple, but I really like it. It's Garter Belt. And it's kind of like a taupey gray. Um more and it's almost a matte color it looks a little bit satiny but it's kind of it's more matte than anything and it I feel like when I want to use like a super bright lip um like just putting like a really like even in the buff on all over my lid and that in the crease just a little bit would be enough um of a of like a nice easy eye look to go with like any lip color so I actually really really like this color Okay, and that is what that one looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on my other my other hand. So yeah, that is kind of what that looks like. It's not showing up quite as um, gray or taupey as it looks, but that it's really, really pretty. Okay, so I have two left. The first one is Lap Dance. And... That is what it looks like. It's kind of a, like, metal-y color. Like, it's a little bit, it looks a little silverish on my finger, but it's more, like, kind of has, like, a, a purple or pink under underlying to it, if that makes sense. Not the best at explaining colors, so. Okay, so that is what that one looks like. Super pretty. Okay, and then the last one is called French Tickler, and this color is so pretty and super pigmented. It's like a, I can't, I'm not totally sure if it's black or brown. I think it's black with like gold glitter, and oh, it's so pretty. I'm not sure if you can, if the camera's picking up the glitter, but I mean, that was one swipe, and that it is so pigmented. So, okay, so these <laughs> are all the colors. And I've used this a couple of times, and all the colors are so, like, creamy and really blendable. I feel like I haven't had any trouble, like, using them. Some eyeshadows are so difficult to, like, blend out or kind of build up, but I really, really highly recommend all of these colors. I think this is an awesome, like, I was kind of thinking about it compared to the Naked or Naked 2 palette. And I feel like this is a really good addition to, like, that because I feel like for those are mostly just, like, brown kind of colors. And this, yes, there are, like, kind of those same colors, but I feel like it's more of, like, the black kind of or, like, the darker gray kind of uh, colors, if that makes sense. I don't know. And <laughs> I feel like it's hard to explain, but I really highly recommend this palette. It's not very expensive. Um, and it's not too, like, other Too Faced palettes are super bulky, but this one is super cute, and it's not, it's pretty thin. So, overall, like, I really, really enjoy this palette. I'm definitely think I'm definitely taking it with me to New York when I, um, 
pack and let me know if you want to see what kind of what makeup I'm bringing like my travel makeup bag and I can do a video if you're interested in seeing that um yeah so overall I really like this I think it's awesome that they kind of give you some eyeshadow looks to go with it um or there's so many colors that are all complementing each other that you can mix and match and make so many different looks so yeah, that is everything, and I hope this helped. If you have any questions, um, just leave it in a comment below, and I will try to answer those for you. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment, and thumbs up this video, and make sure to subscribe. Alright, bye guys.